Loser on Loser Play. A loser on loser play is a type of declarer play which normally occurs in trump contracts. How it works is exactly how it sounds. You throw a loser on a loser. Here's the situation. You're declaring and the opponents play a card that you can rough. Here's spades of trumps. But instead of roughing, you throw a loser from one hand and then from the other, you also throw a loser. The opponents have won a trick, but you've got rid of two losers. I'm going to look at two scenarios where the loser on loser technique can be a great idea. The first one is to use loser on loser to make sure you don't damage your trump holding. You don't want to lose control of your trumps. You might get over roughed, or it might be that you don't have many trumps, and by roughing you're shorting your trump length and making your trump holding very vulnerable. What you're trying to avoid is the ghastly situation where one opponent actually ends up having more trumps than you. Here's an example. You've ended up in four spades with a 4-3 fit. The opponents had overcalled hearts. A 4-3 fit is not ideal, but it's better than playing in three no trumps when you have no heart stop. West leads the ace of hearts, another heart, and then a third heart. What do you do? You could rough the heart, but that would make your trump holding vulnerable. You'd end up with only three spades left in your hand. It's possible that the spades might split 3-3 three, three, and then you'd be okay. You could draw the trumps and then play off your diamonds, but it's more likely that the trumps don't split 3-3. Three, three. And if that happens, then one of the opponents will end up with more trumps than you, and you'll have lost trump control. When you try and draw three rounds of trumps, you'll have none left, and then when you begin to work on the diamonds, the opponents are going to rough in and play the remaining hearts. You'll have no way to get back control of the hand and your contract is going to go down. It's nasty. So instead here, try the loser on loser technique. Your heart loser is played from the dummy and you can throw a club loser from your hand. Now when you win the next trick, draw trumps and even if the split is 4-2, you're going to be fine. Then you can enjoy the diamonds. The contract makes. Here's another example of loser on loser play. In this case here, West has opened a weak two hearts. North has overcalled two spades and South has jumped to four spades. East leads the eight of hearts. West wins with the queen and then plays the ace. From the bidding, North knows that East has actually got two hearts. When West plays the king of hearts, the big question is, what should North do? If he roughs with any cards other than the ace, then it looks very likely that West will just over rough, and then he'll lose a spade, two hearts, and a club. It's true that North could rough with the ace, but he's just not sure that he can afford it. So here, rather than roughing, he simply throws a loser on a loser. He gets rid of that small club. He wins whatever is led next, and then he draws trumps, and he's made his contract. Another really fun time you can use the loser on loser technique is to create a rough potential for you in another suit. This feels really clever. It's almost like you're transferring a rough from one hand to another. Here's how it works. You're in six spades and north leads the queen of diamonds. You count your tricks and you realize that if you rough the queen lead and then rough your other diamonds, you're going to need the heart finesse to work to make 12 tricks. But what about being cleverer than that? Rather than roughing the diamond, try throwing a strategic loser. The opponents will probably lead a diamond again, which you can win with your king, and you can throw another loser. Then you can draw the trumps, cash your ace of hearts, and rough a heart. It's almost as if you've transferred the rough to another suit, the heart suit. By using the loser on loser technique, you didn't actually have to take a risk and finesse the heart suit. Instead, you got your extra trick by creating those heart roughs. In summary, the loser on loser technique is a declare a play technique normally used in trump contracts. Rather than roughing the defender's card, you throw a loser from each hand. There are quite a few reasons why you may make this play, 
but two of the main ones are that it may enable you to keep Trump control or that it may let you transfer your ruff from one suit to another.